time is today. Jen Brett is coming on how to do a green screen video. So, where I'm going to ask my dad to do all this because I'm not a, an electric computer. So, Dad. Okay, now, thanks, Nessa. All right, so I've been asked to uh, kind of give a tutorial on KineMaster on how... Uh, to do the green screen effects and um, first of all I want to let you know that this is only available right now in the uh, beta version of KineMaster you have to uh, sign up to be a beta tester basically to get that that version so that's one thing to uh, make sure you have also um, depending on your device and some of the video processing chips and the instructions they use in your device um, some of these features work or aren't supported. They, they are or they aren't, uh, just depending on what your specific uh, chipset supports. So um, I am recording this right now with Mobizen. Um, it's a screen recorder. And I am recording. I'm using my uh, Samsung Galaxy S6. It's been a great uh, little phone for me. And I actually shoot most of our videos uh, for the channel here, uh, for Nessa J um, videos, on this S6. I either use that or my Rebel T3i. Um, so just just depends on uh, kind of what's better. I've noticed the obviously the T3i is a much better camera. It gets uh, much sharper and better images. Um, but for videos that have a lot of movement, I generally use the S6 if I'm moving around because it has a really good stabilization built into the lens and it still has a pretty darn good quality picture. So anyways, let's get right down to it. KineMaster, um, unleash your creativity. So I'm going to start a new project up here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do empty project. I don't need any of the cookie cutter shortcuts there. So I'm going to go into my media browser. I'm going to find my background. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There we go. Okay, so background here. Okay, so that's the one I'm using as the room. So you get your background out there. And um, if you're familiar with KineMaster, I'd kind of just stretch this out. I stretch it out as long as I need it to be. Um, so here we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'll try not to sing, sorry. Um, that, that's long enough for now anyway. Oh, and as you see, there's that Ken Burns effect where it's panning. I'm just going to go ahead and go into the cropping here. Set these both to be... Whoops. Uh, set these both to be equal. On the equal... Why can't I move that thing? Okay, that that little Mobizen thing is getting annoying. There we go. All right. So set both of those to be equal. Double tap. <coughs> but see, that doesn't quite work because of the edges. There's an edge on the left and the right. So kind of what I do, I make sure I'm going to fill the whole frame with, you know, just enough of the picture where it looks good. Uh, something like this, maybe. We kind of want to get that chandelier in there. It's cool looking. All right, so you have your main thing there, um, and that is your background. And then what you want to do after that is um, uh, you're going to do a video layer. Now, this is one of those things that may or may not be supported based on your specific device. Also, I've seen where some devices support uh, multiple video layers at the same time just because they have a, you know, a very good processor in them or uh, whatnot, and some only support like one video layer on top of a background. It just depends on what you have. So I'm going to go in, I hit uh, layer again uh, here, and then I go to video. And then uh, what I already did was I shot her in front of the green screen, um, and then I went and edited kind of exactly what I wanted. So this here is my video layer. You can see she's green. Um, it's nice you can actually line up with horizontal or vertical if you see those little lines. Hopefully they're showing up for the video. But um, for this, I don't need to be exact. I can kind of resize. You can even um, 
You can even turn it if you want, but I'm gonna leave it like that. So for her video here, that looks about right. Um, you know, somewhere over there. And then uh, what I did, oh, let's just make sure we're, we're long enough at the end of this. Let's double check on this side, okay? I don't want the green screen portion to go longer than the other portion. So I went just a little past this part. So um, here we have Nessa J on the green screen. And honestly, that green screen is just a cheap dollar store <laughs> stinking plastic tablecloth. That's it. So, I mean, you can do this on the cheap. You obviously would get a little bit better results with some professional lighting and all of that. But I like basically just duct taped a green tablecloth on the side of the house outside and it worked so um, I was actually pretty impressed the way it did work uh, for being so inexpensive so basically what you're gonna do here you tap this the actual video layer and then what I do here you wanna go down to where it says chroma key um, right here so chroma key and then enable it and then you're gonna have to pick your key color now this is where it gets kinda confusing um, I wish KineMaster would put in an eyedrop tool that would be really helpful if they had the little eyedropper where you could pick a color um, so unfortunately we don't have that we do have uh, red green blue we have the kind of triangle wheel circle thing there or we have like common colors suggested colors and common um, I did go actually into a separate program and I found my actual code of the closest to match uh, with an eyedropper tool I just basically took a screenshot of the video and kind of this is what the settings were to be the best and it would have worked out better had she not been wearing this green shirt I could have enhanced it a lot better and so basically you have like foreground and background controls over here on these deals and what you want to do is kind of dial it in to where it looks pretty close to where you want it and then kind of move your video around because as you see on the edges there, you can still see some of it. So you want to get as close as you can. But if you go too much, watch, you'll take actually part of her away. So I would highly recommend not wearing green when you're doing a green screen. Probably common sense, but, um, you know, she wanted to wear that. And she says, Daddy, it's either this or my swimsuit. And I said, okay, you're going to wear that then. This is going online. All right, so... Um, here we go, and then there's this, over in the corner, did you see where I got that from? Detail curve, right here. Um, this is where you can kind of fine tune it, and so you're going to have to play around with this. I, I can't describe to you exactly what it does, but you'll see different directions kind of pull more out or less out, and you're adding kind of a curve, and... You, you kind of the trick is to not take too much away from her so it just it just really depends now that that that's a pretty clear image I still see a little bit of green around the hair that's probably happening honestly as a shine off of because uh, it was a little bit sunny outside so the green off the tablecloth was probably shining there it's kind of hard to take that away but just um Go ahead and you you want to take enough away, but you don't want to take too much away. And you're going to basically find the spot that is the best. Don't worry on the fine tuning. You can always go back and go to this chroma key thing again and maybe adjust some of that if you need to. Uh, some of this part. And then go into fine tuning. You, I mean, you can really play with it a lot. And it's, you know, whatever looks good to you. However, is going to give you the results that you're looking for. That's that's what you're going to want to do. So basically, we take that um, until you have it fairly good, and then you just uh... um, Anessa J. Oh, and don't forget Dylan J. And then, so at that point, um, basically, what we have here, 
well, you know, and I'm, I'm going to go back and do some fine tuning. I see a little bit of green there. And, and in the final product, you probably will in this particular video, see a little bit that you're, a little bit of that green. Yeah, it's going to drive me crazy. Anyways, um, see if I take this away, it takes part of her shirt and shoulder off. Um, like I said, just play with it um, until you get it the best you can. And then um, from this point, it's just a matter of I add in extra video layers. So I have her thing like right here. Hi, I'm Nessa Jane. I just want to talk about my day. We have a new puppy. And okay, so hi, I'm Nessa J. So like right about there, all I'm going to do is stick in all of these creative little things here. Oh, it's not a video layer. My bad. Image. Okay, so if I take this, go to download. Um, somewhere in here... I'm still looking. Sorry, I'm a little ill-prepared. I don't know... Okay, let's just use this one as a J show. This is not the one I used in the actual video. Um, this is just something separate. But let's go ahead and put that in there. And basically, I just put it like over here somewhere. And I always put an in animation of something. So pop is fine for me. And then click back on this layer again. Overall animation. That's how you do those rings. Is you just go in a ring. And that's a wide ring. So it's not quite the same as the video. I, I will find the right file and I'll put it on there. Um, but basically... It's kind of a cool way to do it too. Um, and you can move it around, make it bigger or smaller, and there you go. So then you have something like this. So everything else on the screen. Hi, video. I'm Mr. Jane. I just want to talk about my day. We have a new puppy, and I want to introduce my. Everything is basically like this on this whole video. You're just adding in more video layers uh, up in this corner. And I'll trash that now. But yeah, I'm just adding in the graphics that I like. As she talks about certain things, I'm popping up graphics. Or or uh, you can also do text. See, with that option. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to do that now. But um, you can do that. You can do text, stickers, handwriting, images, and videos. So, But basically, as far as the green screen, you just get it the best you can. Um, as far as the fine trimming. And I'm sure... The technology is just going to get better and better as they keep updating KineMaster. Um, so keep using KineMaster for your editing needs. Um, it's the coolest, coolest video editor app I have ever seen on any sort of a phone or tablet device. So um, anyways, I want to thank you. And now I'll send it back to Nessa. Peace. Let my dad explain to you how the screen screen stuff works. I'm Mr. JP Sad.